Welcome back for another taste of nature journaling. This is just a brief, hey, what else might we do? Um, and a little bit of an exploration of some of my other tools. So um, I have tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and bell peppers, and red hot paprika peppers um, in the garden that have been producing, oh, and banana peppers that have been producing some fruit. Uh, and I also just bought some uh, Brussels sprouts and uh, some of them have made it into the ground and some of them have not. So I thought I'd grab those and bring them inside since it's a little humid out and the mosquitoes are a little bit bad. So I've get, once again gone in with my Uniball pen. It's a Uniball Signo 207 and I to, I got a new set of watercolor pencils, and so I had to take them out of the box and play with them. Watercolor pencils are really fun because you can use them like a regular colored pencil and just put color onto the paper. And then I'm just going to dip my brush in the water here and come back. And when I add the water to the marks that are already on the paper, they start to dissolve. I don't know if dissolve is right. I'm going to have to research that. Look, there's something I'm going to have to research. Um, and they move around. They are water soluble. So I guess they are dissolving. Um, and I can get watercolor-like effects on my page really quickly and easily. Um, something else that I can do with my watercolor pencils that's fun to play with is to take my pencil itself and just dip the pencil tip into the water and then I can go in and I'm going to work on, uh, pick one quick, right? Shouldn't be that hard, but when I go in, I'll bring that a little closer. Um, with the pencil in the water, it also creates a painterly effect um, because the water on is mixing and blending on the surface of the pencil tip itself. And that might be a little more red than I want. So I'm going to come back with the orange and see if I can blend that in. Although I am noticing that the more ripe the tomato is, um, the darker red it gets as opposed to the orange. I can pick that up with my finger and move it. So if I want to smear it around a little bit. Right. So um, watercolor pencils can be a fun tool. They come in um, sets of various sizes. Um, they're an investment, so if you decide to get them, know that you're going to pay a little bit for them up front, but they will last you if you treat them well. Um, this set comes in these three that fit into this tin. Um, a lot of them come in a nice tin that will protect them while you're out in the field. So hopefully this adds a little bit of inspiration and you'll be joining us for our nature journaling classes for more in-depth community and practice.